Hi everyone, welcome back to Earl Grey Books. I'm Ellie and I'm here today to announce a reading challenge that I'm going to be running, hosting in 2023. So this is called the Read My Kindle uh, challenge. I have been doing this for myself uh, this past year. Every couple of months I pick out a bunch of books from my Kindle and I try to read them and I haven't been doing super well with it so I was thinking to myself how could I motivate myself to get to these and um, what could I do that could make this a little bit more interesting and fun for me and I thought that I would share it and uh, it's something you can join in on if you're interested. I'm gonna let you know all the information now. Uh, like I said, it is for 2023, so I'm going to run it from the 1st of January until the 31st of December, and then I guess we'll see from there. <laughs> so uh, the way this is going to work is every two months I am going to put out a bingo board with a bunch of prompts on, and then you have two months to fulfill those prompts. I'm going to talk through the one that I have for January and February in this video after we go through some of the other details. The main point I want to make in this video is that you don't have to read off a Kindle. If you use some other kind of e-reader, maybe a Kobo, or if you use the Kindle app on your phone or your laptop or anything like that, uh, it'll count towards this. I'm also going to count audiobooks if you'd like to listen to those instead they will count um, and also so will books off Kindle Unlimited or books borrowed from the library as long as they are basically not a physical book if they're an ebook or an audiobook you can count it towards this if you're reading it physically you can't that's that's basically it I came up with this earlier in the year because I noticed that I wasn't really reading the books on my Kindle even though I was still buying them when they were on sale and still getting things from the library and from Kindle Unlimited and they would just sit there. So the whole purpose is to try and kind of move some of those things on. I'm also at the moment just going to be running this via Discord. Uh, obviously I will have my videos and I will probably make a new video every two months with the bingo boards um, as well as perhaps a wrap up of what I did or a TBR, we'll see. But if you're interested in joining in, uh, you can make your own videos, I will make a playlist as well of everything. Um, and if you don't make videos, you can of course share it on Instagram or Twitter as well. But I think most of the discussion I will have on Discord and I will link the um, server down below if you're interested in joining in. I'm going to keep this relatively low key, but I think every two months I will put out uh, sort of what points uh, people have earned from bingo boards and maybe at the end of the year we'll see who did, who did best. And yes, I think before we get into the bingo board, the one last thing I wanted to mention is that I will allow double ups, so if there are two prompts and you can tick it off with one book, you can totally do that. You can also uh, repeat prompts if you would like to. Um, that may change, we'll see how it, how it goes and yes, but for now let me introduce you to the bingo board for January and February. So I've kept it pretty simple and I've just gone with nine spaces and we're going to go through them. So from the top we have join a readathon. This is pretty simple. I know that there are usually a few, well, there's always lots and lots of readathons going on in a month. So it should be pretty easy to find something during January and February that might grab you. I will say for this one that I will allow book clubs. So if you aren't joining in with any readathons but you are joining in with a book club and you happen to have it on ebook, then that will count to this prompt. 
With this, I am going to direct you to Paige uh, from Pages with Paige, who always puts out a video about the readathons happening month to month, a couple of days before that month starts. So I will link you to her. The next one is newest book, pretty self-explanatory. Doesn't have to be the newest book on your Kindle, but let's say within the last five or ten, depending how often uh, you get new books on your Kindle, e-reader, whatever. Our next one is Indie Author. Of course, I love showing some love to indie authors and they're very easy to find in ebook form. Here I will direct you to two of my best friends. Firstly, Lana from Lauren Lullabies. She is, of course, the host of the Indie Accords. If you're into some sort of darker, grittier things, uh, fantasy and stuff like that, Lana is definitely your go-to. And also I will link you to Angel from Angel Reads. If you're more on the romance side and if you like a little bit of darker romance as well, darker than what I'm going to recommend you, Angel is your girl for that. And also has literally been my best friend for like 10 years and I love her. So any chance I have to direct people towards her, I will do. Okay, so that's the first row. On to the middle one, we have beautiful cover. This is, again, self-explanatory. This is very subjective. If you think the cover is beautiful, it will count. And that's, that's it for that one. Uh, next is a free square. You can do whatever you want with this whatever if there's something that you really want to read that doesn't quite fit anything and of course if you just want to skip this one too then that is fine as well next one is hyped book again pretty self-explanatory i wanted to keep these ones uh, for, especially for the first two months pretty general um so there is that again that's totally up to you. It can be hyped by the bigger sort of bookish community in general, or maybe it's hyped by the people that you watch, or maybe even just a specific person. And then into the final row, we have book in a series. This one is a little selfish because I'm really bad at reading series. So I thought if I put this on here, that that might help push me a little bit. Uh, so this can, this could be the first book in a series or it could be a later book. Um, I'm going to be using it as a later book, but it is totally up to you. Next one is Own Voices. So I think most people know what this term means now, but it is to read a book that features some kind of diversity, whether that be race, sexuality, mental illness and disability, of course. Um, written by someone who belongs to that minority group. And finally, the last one is a friend pick. So get a friend, a family member, anyone. You could even do a poll pick if you'd prefer and get them to pick a book for you to read. And again, pretty self-explanatory. You can, of course, narrow down uh, your choices, but get someone to pick something for you. Okay, so that is it for the announcement. I don't think I will be doing a TBR slash pile of possibilities sort of thing for this round, um, but I will do a wrap up at the end of February, start of March, and we'll see uh, when I announce the next board as well. But for now, I think that's everything. If you have any questions, you can leave them below or message me on Twitter, Instagram, or on the Discord, and I will answer them for you. And otherwise, I hope that some of you are interested in joining this. I'm really excited to do this. Uh, even if I just have one other person with me, that's going to be a little bit more of a push for me to read these things. So I'm looking forward to it. And yes, uh, I hope you're all doing super well, and I will see you next time. Bye.